Today. So let's go over what you're going to need before we get started. So with anything that comes with painting and children together in one sentence, always I recommend, and you already know, <laughs> a big uh, plastic or canvas, newspaper, something you can spread out just so paint doesn't get everywhere. And then after that, go ahead and get some paper that's nice and thick that will hold paint well because you do not want it to soak through. So what I use is a paint pad and it's specifically for paint. Um, it's nice, thick, white paper that will not soak through. You will need a paintbrush. You'll need three colors, white, blue, and green and a paper plate just so we can go ahead and pour our paint on here. And lastly, you will need Q-tips. And by Q-tips, I mean a lot of Q-tips because we're actually gonna be grabbing handfuls of them and using them to make our dandelions. All right, so that's everything you'll need. And now we can go ahead and start our craft. So for our step one, we are gonna create the background of our painting, which is gonna be a beautiful blue sky. So go ahead and take your paper plate and pour some white paint and some blue paint down. And I'm gonna mix some of this so that it's not quite such a dark blue. Um, I might even uh, vary the shades of the blue in the background a little bit. I may do some uh, lighter parts of the sky and maybe some darker parts of the sky. So you can have your kiddos stir some of that up if you'd like and you can have them just totally cover the whole painting in blue. So I've kind of found a shade of blue that I like. So go ahead and find whatever shade you like, if it's a darker or lighter. And now I'm just going to take single motions and just go from one angle uh, diagonally to the other side. So we've got our canvas all covered in blue. And now we're going to go ahead and take our green. We're going to put a drop of green down here and we're going to start to draw the stems of our dandelion. So we're going to draw three dandelion stems. So I've got a nice angle brush here and I'm going to go ahead and dip my angle brush into this green to draw my stems. Now that I've got my stems down, I'm going to dip my angle brush in again and on the bottoms, I'm just going to lay it flat like that to draw the bottoms of my dandelion just a flat surface, just little dabs on either side, like this. Now you're gonna wanna make sure your angle brush is washed because we're gonna go ahead and dip it in white now. And similar to how we created the base um, underneath the dandelion, we're gonna be drawing lines out for um, the start of our dandelion. So we're gonna just start by just drawing some lines out and it'll look more like a dandelion in just a minute. Now, as you can see, the more that I add some longer lines out and fill it in, the more it's starting to look like um, real dandelion. So now that we've finished that and they're starting to look nice and full, we are gonna go ahead and take our Q-tips to finish off. All right guys, so now we're on to our last part and this is where we get to use our Q-tips to finish up and really make it look like a dandelion blowing in the wind. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a big handful of Q-tips just like this. We're gonna go and take our white paint and we're just gonna dip the whole handful of Q-tips in there. And then we're simply going to just stamp around these dandelions and we're gonna go a little bit off into the sky as well so it gives the appearance of them blowing away in the wind. So let me show you what it looks what like. first dandelion looks like after I took a handful of q-tips and just kind of dotted them up into the sky as if the breeze was coming in. All right here's the finished look and now it finally looks like dandelions blowing in the wind. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. It's a little bit more time consuming, uh, but it really isn't too hard, especially with the Q-tips and the angle brush. Um, yeah, basically just three steps with just covering the whole canvas in blue and then drawing your stems and the base and then just drawing those little, uh, those straight white lines for um, your dandelion and then just taking the Q-tips and dotting it off into the wind. All right, guys, we are all done. Thank you so much for joining me today with this dandelion painting craft. I had fun. Um, and I just want to encourage you all that this is a beneficial craft, no matter what age your kid is. Um, if you have really little ones that were trying to follow along and obviously their painting is not going to quite look like this, that's totally okay. Because even just the practice with the Q-tips is really good for fine motor development. Um, and yeah, it's a great little tool for them to use as they, uh, you know, just get more comfortable with their hand-eye coordination. So that's fun for them. And if you've got older kids at home, I'm sure they probably got a little bit more into the detail to really make it look like a painting. So wherever your kids are at with that, great job. I'm so happy you were able to paint with me today. And make sure you guys keep an eye out for more craft videos that should be posted soon. Have a great day. See you later.